we're gonna start this episode off with something that's gonna be a bit intense. I'm gonna actually get a tattoo. Why, why would I get a tattoo? Well, one of the reasons I'm getting a tattoo is because when people would make pilgrimage to Jerusalem, they oftentimes would get a tattoo. We're going to go into a shop that's been family owned for 700 years. People have been coming here to get tattoos as a sign of their pilgrimage. Hey, hey good to see you. Doing? I'm good. good. I'm the guy getting the tattoo, All so right. let's get started. Okay, so let me suggest okay. this one, which is 500 years old. Okay. This was used in 1669 to tattoo a pilgrim who had documented his pilgrimage. Great. I have this on me. I can show it to you. Perfect. So I'll take exactly that. We will use the actual stamp. All right, so let me tell you why I got this tattooed. It's really because I wanted to follow the footsteps of thousands of spiritual pilgrims before me. I was not excited to mark my body with something permanently, but the idea of tapping into a bloodline, a family tree, to declare my faith with a, phys with a physical mark was, was pretty cool. I, I got caught up in it. I'm totally glad I did it. Now, now think about this for a second. What evidence or experience would compel somebody to permanently mark their body, in many cases, a mark that would get them killed. How convinced would you have to be that Jesus is the Messiah, that you'd be willing to put a mark on your body that would have you get killed possibly for your faith? I mean, this isn't an artistic, cool thing. This is a death thing. People who take bold steps like this inspire me. I want to be more like them. The very early ones came with my family from Egypt mm. and this served as a pass to enter churches because when, when uh, Islam uh, spread out through Africa, it started with Egypt and this is where the tattoo came from and those who did not convert or refused to convert were actually tattooed with a cross on the wrist mm. to distinguish them to be um, taxed or to oh, be, wow. you know. It was a forceful tattoo. Exactly. Fascinating. Exactly. So then they just they just decided to own it and say, okay, I will exactly. own my faith. Fine, I'm going to do it myself. Exactly. So they, one generation after the other, they started doing it themselves. It, it also served the purpose of, the, as I said, the Christians to know who remained Christian did not and did not convert. So that's how my family started doing tattoos. 700 years ago in Egypt, tattooing Coptic Christians. Your tattoo would, is the ultimate proof of your Christianity and therefore it gives you the pass to enter the church. Hmm. Would this one pass for me if I went in? Yes, it it's a cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we're doing the red now. All right. Um, You're right, you have yeah. thick skin, tough skin. I do? Yeah. You guys are wishing you had one of these, aren't you? Yeah. Come on, admit it. Yeah. You're not manly enough to get this, though. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't like people in the chair who cry. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you, friend. Well, it was great. My great. My great, friend. Frank. Thank you. Excellent. There she is. Good, man. That was great. That was, that was, a, that was a great experience. 